everyone, so today we're going to go for the datacrons on my cap. We're going to start with presents, which is going to be in Perecta Mesa. On the global map, it will be all the way down here to the south. And I am going to start directly from where we land. The way is a little bit long and intricate, so I'm going to show it from the very start to the end. I'm going to speed her up here and take the path in between the two first buildings here to your right. When you get to this point, you will aim for the big boulder. If you don't make it, don't worry, you can still get up from the ground. When you get to this point, we will go to the left. And behind the really, really big boulder here is a secret passageway that is very easy to miss. At the end of this passageway is a crack in between the big rock formations and this is where we need to jump down. I tend to go off my speeder just to be sure I don't overreach and therefore take a ton of damage. Here you will just follow the path to the right. And down here and again to the right until you get to this point. In here is where the datacron will be and we are going to aim for this pipe. From here we're going to aim for the pipe opposite of us and from here up to the darker pipe, smaller one. Once you get up here, you just take the path up on top of it because it makes it easier to get to the pipe down here. That then leads to our destination, which is your first datagram. Last datagram will be Endurance. We are going to be in Fryn Mesa on the global map that's right here in the middle. And our starting point is right here. This is definitely easy to get to if you're Republic because your base will be right here. Imperials, you will have to either travel to here or if you have this unlocked through here. But you will get close to the Republic base so be prepared for some big champions. When you then get to this point where you can see there's like this flying bird like creature. This is our pathway. Once you get to this point with the two platforms with kind of grass on it, this is going to be a drop point. You can see there's like a bunker like thing underneath us and that is where we need to slide down to. And you will simply take the elevator. Once you get to this walkway or bridge, we will go to the very far end of it and take the last metal beam on the right. You will climb very slowly up at it and on the right side of it only half body on it. When you get to this point, the easiest thing for me to do is to jump up here to be sure you land on the very very small platform where you need to stand on. Get to this metal beam, and this is the pipe we need to jump up on. Be sure for a running jump, but you might have to try it a few times. And there we go. We'll then go the opposite way and go up to the next pipe here. And we'll try to get up on the top, climbing here. A running jump is the best. There we go. And on to the red pipes. We 
once you get to this rocky part of it again, you'll just follow the rock around, or the rock wall around. If you do engage some of the enemies down here, be sure to be on the inside of it because they will be able to knock you off. When you get to this point, we need to drop down. Be sure to heal up, just for safety. And when you look down, this is where we need to go. Follow the path this way, and then down again. As soon as you've landed here, you can see there's a form of platform. Just try to aim for there, it will make it easier for the fall, so it's not so harsh. But I would still say speed her down just to be sure you don't overreach to get to the next platform. There we go. And then the opposite way again. When you get to this point, you can see there's a platform down there, but this is not our pathway. You will follow the rocky part further down where there's going to be an enemy. If you're lucky enough, he will not react to you because you're over level, but if you do, be sure to be on the inside of him. When you have successfully either stealth pass him or killed him, you will go towards here which is the platform we now need to get to. Further from here onto the rocky part again. From here on out, you just follow this path around. You've now successfully gotten to the end of the path, and we need to now catch a ride in form of this elevator. Do not try to go for it when it's getting too close to you, because the reach is fairly far and it's easier that you do it when it's on the low point. It is still a fairly far jump, so be prepared that you're going to lose a lot of health. Other than that, it's just to wait for the beautiful ride up again. Your next stop will be this platform, but again, in the same way as we jump to this elevator, do not do it when it's too close to you because the reach will be very far away. So it's better to let it ride as far up as it can and then jump over. This is where the fun begins, because now we're gonna get to the real jumping puzzle. Our aim is to get to there. If you do have rocket boots, this is the moment where I would really recommend it, because otherwise it will be difficult to get to. If you land below, that is fine, okay? Don't worry about it, that is just as well done. Follow the beam here, and then down onto this rocky path. Okay, you got to the rocky path. You will now follow it up here. Just follow it as far as you can. and then get around here. Our destination is this platform down here. And believe me, this is the moment where it's easy to overreach, so be careful on your fall down.
there we go. I recommend here that while you're sliding down to move your character backwards so it kind of stops it in its path. For now you need to aim for this beam but it's not that difficult, it's just get to it. And from here on, on out is just follow the path and you get to the very last platform where your blessed endurance data chron now will be. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.